Okay, so hey, hey, we're here like since I've totally like gone crazy uh, with my cigar passion now. So t tonight I was gonna give you a show a rundown on like how crazy I've totally went with this. Um, pretty nuts. Like anything I do, like you guys know, I do like total full bore. So uh, it's become nuts. It's great though. <clears throat> it's just like anything else. Like there's so many things out there you can get into and um, with it so uh, right now I got a total of three humidors and uh, they're cooking man they're packed full of so many things and so what I'm going to show you is like some of the best and of what I've got and uh, it's just crazy I've got things from all over so far so right now I'm smoking one of my favorites Rocky Patel um, well, excuse me, Rocky Patel came up with a cigar, it's a Drew Estate, it's a box press, um, it's a Java Mint, uh, definitely one of my favorites, and uh, some of the people I've given them to totally like them, so um, if you're even inkling to try a cigar, um, and if you're, 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 you know, you're definitely not after the rough, robust taste, um, this is what you want to try. Uh, again, it's a Drew Estate um, Java. Uh, and it's a mint. Um, only way I can describe it to you, it's like a, uh, it's like a mint chocolate chip ice cream, man. It's it's like crazy good. So um, uh, that's this definitely got turned on to this, and it's 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 a great. It's a box press, so it's not a total round cigar. It's a square, and um, that's another. So your best hand rollers, rollies, and then they put them in a box press. And uh, so it's a square cigar, and uh, it's it's unbelievable. It's phenomenal. So, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through um, some of my humidors and let you see what's going on. I know some of the guys like have, like wondered, and some people that can't come over and check it out um, want to see what's in the humidor. So, uh, so uh, that's what we're going to do with this video. So, here we go. So what we got here, this is the uh, this is the coolest of the cool, man. This is like a desktop humidor that would go inside of a shop. Um, actually, what's crazy is Leaf and Bean up in McMurray has this exact humidor. I got this on eBay for, uh, I think it was like almost 70 bucks with shipping. And then I'm coming to find out that, uh, they're, you know, they're, they've been priced up to 200 and some dollars. And so I was kind of self-skeptical. I thought maybe that this humidor probably was no good and maybe it wouldn't hold um, but as you can see it's uh, it's 69.69 uh, it's got all kind of cool crazy uh, graphics across the top of it Don Dago, Monte Crisco so uh, it's pretty crazy um, <clears throat> so inside of it what we have and, and we call this the guest humidor is out here in the kitchen. First thing, it's got a crazy aroma inside of it. The cedar's nice. Um, inside, it has your two pockets for your uh, hydrometers, and uh, uh, so we got uh, just a sample of stuff. Of course, we got some acid in there. Um, I don't know what else I got in there. Uh, a nub. There's a nub in there. That's a good one. A nub. That's an awesome one. That's a uh, macchiato. That's a coffee infused um, stick. That's a, probably a 45 ring gauge um, nub. So that's a cool little that's a cool little smoke, little coffee infused smoke. There's a Cuban Crafters in there. Um, this is a Maniac man. This is like a 60 ring gauge. Uh, ring gauge is the circumference. Um, it's a 60. It's a torpedo. Uh, 60 ring gauge. Uh, that's a monster, dude. That's a monster smoke. So you got just a little bit of everything in there, out there. So it holds a uh, it holds really good uh, temperature and uh, humidity. So 
So that's this bag, boy. It's pretty nice. Really nice. So, so that's the uh, that's the visitor uh, humidor. So when you come over, that's what you're gonna get. Okay, so let's <laughs> go to the big dude. And this is the uh, this is a stand up. So what happens is when when you get stupid crazy, um, you move up to something like this. So basically, this is a uh, this is like like a mid mid size. Um, stand up I guess is what you would say not even a mid it would be a small um, so when you start getting boxes so when you decide you want to find you know when you decide on some cigars that you really like to smoke so your favorites um, you'll you'll you know you want to get a box or two or three or four or five or six like me like stupid so you're gonna want to keep your boxes so you got to have a place to keep them fresh right so the downstairs of this dude is for the boxes, and the upstairs is for your sticks. So um, we'll go down. Th we'll go down through and just look at some of the some of the bottom. So inside, it's got electronic uh, humidifier, and then um, I've also got some beads and other things down here. So let's just crack this guy. And that right there is the ribbon cable for the electronic uh, humidifier. So uh, there is a box of acid Cuba Cubas. Um, my go-to. Um, not a nightly smoke, but like a daytime when I'm going to go on a run. And, um, let's see here. Uh, let's pull out, uh, well, let's go to this, let's go to what I'm smoking now. So here's a box of Java Drew Estates. And, uh, they're the mints. So I got a box of mints. And I got a box of, uh, maybe if I can do this. Oh, they're sealed good. There's a box of mints. Java Drew Estate mints. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. So, that's a box of mints. Drew Estates. And underneath of that is a box of regular Javas. So, in here, just really quickly, there is a humidity pack. We'll just throw that to the side. This is a box of Man of Wars. And these companies will throw out. Uh, let me get this open. Maybe. These companies will throw out boxes of their. Um, you have to bear with me. It's an anthology box. These boxes, they'll, they'll throw out. Um, collections. Oh, look at that. They'll throw out their collections of samples of all of their um, types of cigars. So this is a Man of War. So you have a Virtue in here. Um, there's all different kinds. Of course, I'm not sure of all the kinds because I'm still a newbie, but I thought that was a cool-ass set. Um, Virtue, Man of War, Ruination, um, Little Devil, Skull Crusher. So I have not tried any of these. Obviously, I thought it'd be cool to have the set though. Well, wow, they're pretty choice. So you got all different types here. You know, you got like a Connecticut wrapper. Um, uh, you got Habanos. You got Habano Ecuador Ligero. Um, you got uh, Maduros. Um, you know, more Connecticut's. Um, man, you got all kind of stuff in here. So, torpedoes and shapes, sizes, um, different ring gauges. There's a 60s, there's 50s. Um, so it's crazy, dude. So it's a nice little sample. Um, <clears throat> this was not very expensive. I think this was like 60 bucks. So, <clears throat> you know, you, that's that's reasonable for a box set like this. So that's nice. So that is the Man of War set. Now this set, this is choice. These are little devils, man. These are nice. This is a room. This is a Dharma Room 101 box. Um, these are these are Room 101 Dharmas, um, 48 by fours. These are uh, these are choice, man. This is what this is quality right here. The, the the stamp is still good on this, so I don't want to break 
the stamp like I'm about to do right now. But this is what you get when you get a quality set of cigars from a quality manufacturer. Um, uh, you get the whole spiel, dude. Um, and this is this is how they come in in tissue paper. That is sweet, man. Look at this. And you get the cedar spoils. This thing is packed in cedar. And wait till you see these babies. Look at those girls. Look at that. Those babies are choice. Um, look at the foot of the cigar and you see the caps. You can see the caps are all uniform. Um, I wish you could smell. I wish we had smell of vision here. This thing is beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous set. And the artwork is unbelievable. That's a cedar spoil. And um, that's just unbelievable. They're gorgeous. So these babies will be for something special. So we'll put those back in there. And we'll give you the rest of the tour of this. Bottom. So the bottom is basically. Oops, excuse me. The bottom is basically for your boxes. There's a box of CAO ape hangers in there, um, and a whole other box. And those are like a Maduro wrapper, a dark robust wrapper. So, but I got some loose sticks in there. Put that pack back. There's another little tray, and that would be for more humidification devices. Um, and then there's another uh, box of uh, just a little sampler, nice little sampler pack. So if you're new and you're starting, that's what you want. You want to be able to uh, sample things. So that has Drew Estates, the entire Java line, two of each. So that's there's a Java, a Java Latte, and a Java Mint. So you get two of each. That's what you want. So you know what you want. Or you know you know what you can sample and try different things, and then it gives you a little history of everything. That's what you want. So this is the downstairs, and this is that's the humidification device for this. It's just a little um, electronic humidifier. Pretty cool. You set it, forget it. And right now we're showing 73 down here, which is a little high, but that's good. We kind of got the door open, so. And you gotta make sure the ribbon cable's sitting there pretty. And you close this so we don't damage it. Good seal. Bam, good seal. So up here in the upstairs, we're 7071. And just some um, real quick ones here. I'm kind of a big Rocky Patel fan. He's got great so far everything I've tried from him is good. Here's a Rocky Patel vintage 1992. So this baby's box pressed, which I've kind of like really decided I've liked a lot of box pressed cigars. So um, that's a 1992 cigar. Bam. There you go. Another <clears throat> Rocky Patel uh, 15th anniversary. Another box press, Rocky Patel. Um, there's another, uh, there's another nub macchiato, CAO, black market. Over here on this side, another black market, another Rocky Patel, <clears throat> Perdomo. These must be big. I've never really smoked one of these, but I've got a couple of them. These are Perdomo Champagne 10th anniversaries. They're pretty slick looking. I'll just sit down with one of those. Ah, an acid toast. Camacho. Camacho with the scorpion. Triple Maduro. 1650. Ain't nobody said this was cheap. Camacho. So, lots of cool things happening in here. Ain't nobody said this was cheap. So, this is the upstairs of this. And there's the humidifier that I keep up here to keep this area kind of different. In that area, <clears throat> it is vented, it is graded down here, so they should be, it should circulate, but I got a lot of inventory up here, so I kind of want to keep this a little bit different than the other. So, so, that's that. 
when we come over here to the big guy. So this is uh, this is the original hum humidor, hum humidor, excuse me, that I got. So uh, I kind of keep my good ones in this one. Um, it's a nice humidor. So we'll lift the lid on this guy. Now this is where the serious serious things happen in here. So this is what the big leaguers are. So the guys that have been following along, that's my Opus X Lost City. Um, very rare. Fuente Fuente Opus X Lost City. So Fuente Fuente is super expensive and super rare. There's a Fuente 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 Opus X Angel Share. I got it in that size, and I got it in this size. So there's two of them. There they are side by side. So Fuente Fuente Opus X Angel Share in two different sizes. And then I also have this Fuente Fuente Opus X. Uh, and then um, what else we got here? I got this the other day. This is a Rocky Patel. Um, the Edge A10. Look at that wrapper. Look at that wrapper. That is awesome. Look at the cap and the foot on that. That's a 60 ring gauge. 60. That's a hog, son. That's a hog. Everybody says, Where, where's your Cuban cigars? I don't know, man. I'm not. There's a Cuban. Habana. Habana, Cuba. Habana, Cuba. Illegal. Uh, another Rocky Patel, man. I got a ton of Rocky Patel. A decade, 10th anniversary, Rocky Patel. Um, got Cohiba. Cohiba. That's a long one, man. That's a Robusto. Robusto. A Robusto. In the Maduro wrapper, Cohiba, Rabusto. I've got Rocky Patel all over the place. Uh, I think I'm becoming a Rocky Patel fan. But uh, in here, underneath this tray, underneath, I got this dude here. He looks badass. He's a box press. He's a rogue. Oh, does that not look right up my alley? Armageddon, rogue. Armageddon. Yeah. Yes, that looks badass. He's kind of box pressed. But if I was to take that round, that's a 60 ring gauge box pressed. Rogue Armageddon. <laughs> that's great. So, anyway, I got some serious shit going on. I mean, excuse me, serious stuff going on here. A big on the Habanos. Habanos? Habanos, there's a Perdomo. Perdomo, Habanos, Connecticut. Perdomo, Habano, Connecticut. Big on Connecticut wrappers. Big on Habanos wrappers. So, <clears throat> and underneath, in these little windows, because we're not going to dig the tray out, there's some My Fathers. There's all kinds of stuff going on in there. Yeah, man. So, anyways, that's the tour. That's the grand tour. Hope you guys are digging it. And um, anytime you guys want to stop over and have a smoke, by all means, let me know. Hope you enjoyed your tour. Peace out.